Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to carry yourself out of low elo with this nasty 67% win rate Zin Zhao jungle build. It is currently his strongest and most consistent build, which does not utilize Eclipse. Instead, you're gonna be rushing Gore Drinker into Sterix. Big surprise, just like pretty much every single AD melee jungle champion right now. Whether that's Lee Sin or Talon or Jarvan, Gore Drinker and Asterix is the key. Lucidities are also pretty dang good on uh, Zin Zhao as well. We're up against an Evelyn, Anivia, Nami. It's a lot of CC. May just swing for Merc Treads instead. You generally want to start with bot lane, but at the same time, blue buffs are a really good start too. You don't really want to do Raptors until you are level uh, three or take Krugs till you're level three. It's really inefficient and not super, super slow. You do clear off the blue side faster because you read Gromp and the Wolves. I'm sorry, yeah, blue <laughs> blue Gromp and the Wolves. Yeah, you clear off blue side, blue Gromp and the Wolves, level three really, really fast. And then you can easily take Raptors or Krux once you are level three. Auto attack Q reset. We're gonna get one auto down on each one of these Wolves to apply a red buff burn. Our E dash is AOE damage that will reapply our jungle item burn as well. The only reason I did blue before Gromp here is because I was closer to it. Generally doing Gromp before blue in this instance is better. That way you can get level three and you'll be clearing a bit faster. I smited the Gromp just to pull it to the blue. You don't have to do that. You can just finish off the blue and then do the Gromp. That works too. So by the time we finish Gromp, we'll be full HP anyways. And then we'll look for a gank, top or mid. Looks doable at the moment. Top lane honestly doesn't look that doable, but then we jungler shows up. And we'll see. Most likely Evelyn's gonna be pathing top side. I'll try to fight her on her Krugs. Evelyn. We went ahead and held on to our dash until she used a flash or started getting away. If you're in range to auto attack, just use your Q, auto attack Q reset. You can also use your W if they don't know you're there, that works too. You can smite, scuttle in midair, pull off its shield. Against champions, if they know you're there, you want to knock them up before you W, that way you can land that damage more consistently. Uh, I honestly don't think we can kill her. I need her to cue the minions and then maybe... Oh, she doesn't have passive. See that? Upper left corner. No passive on Anivia. Ah, uh, I missed it. She hit me with the slow on her Q, just not the stun. And then she walled me off there. We should be able to get this scuttle crab though. We stalled out the way for a mid laner as well, which is nice. Might be able to gank this. Wait for a second, we'll start a recall. My teammates are shoving in a big wave, so the enemies are likely to just reset here. Gene is kind of healthy though, they might try to fight it. <coughs> Evelyn is top side right now. It's like the enemies just aren't going to fight it. First item rush. Phage is really damn good on Zin Zhao. It lets you do turret dives. Makes your 1v1s really good. You don't really need to iron spike whip rush. Since your W and your E have huge AoE anyways. You would think you would max your Q first since the cooldown gets lower. But you actually go for the E max second. For the attack speed. That way you can get your conqueror stacks up as soon as possible. Looks like my Gromp's still down. That's unfortunate. Thought it was back up. They didn't truly reset that wave. I think Aatrox is gonna have to stay to try to reset it now. I might actually be able to kill him if he doesn't get level six here. He's staying for a plate as well. That's really greedy. He should have just backed. I have beige. He doesn't. Oh, cool. This is warded. Hey, Evelyn. I 
need to get our knockup on her. I can't quite get to her though. There we go, hit her with the W tipper. That extended our dash range as well. I was about to dash on her, but Camille secured the kill. Pretty solid. That, that actually turned out pretty well, even though Evelyn collapsed. We're just tanky enough with the phage. If we have an iron spike whip, I think we would have died there. Obviously your W does extend your E range substantially. You can go over walls for dragons with it, barons, heralds, anything like that. And even your normal camps as well. Generally, you don't do it like on all of them, like Raptors early game. It's not always a great move because you can miss a lot of them with your W. But uh, I'll show you what I mean. So if you're like right here, if you're mid, you can just pop over to escape or just to get to your camp faster. I want to soak this XP. While I'm there, I might as well. I got a few minions. Uh, scuttle crabs up. Let's see if Evelyn's taken it yet. If she hasn't. I might as well help myself. I'll try to break this without dying. I gotta get ready to move away from the bot lane. And I'm a little nervous. I would invade Evelyn just because I can solo her, but her bot lane's making me nervous. We'll just take red buff in the meantime. Her it's a gray right here. I believe gray is 40 seconds or less when it spawns in. It might even be 30 seconds. It used to be a minute. And then they lowered it to 50 seconds. 50 seconds or less. We'll just say it's 30 seconds. It's going to be up soon. We'll path right into it. Ah, uh, Vex wasn't really ready. I don't want to jump to it since she's under her turret. Now it's yellow. That's 10 seconds or less. I'm about to, I probably just walked into her. She probably saw me there. You might go for that play top. She's, she's definitely going for it because she's not over here. At the very least, I'm going to pull it into the bush. Is she over there? Vex died. Don't really know where Evelyn's at. She could kind of be anywhere right now. I'm a little nervous she's on my blue buff, actually. Nope, she just ended up going top. I think Camille has it. Camille's really hard to kill because of her passive shield she gets. It's on like a 15 second-ish cooldown. Makes it really challenging for assassins to burst her down. Camille's a really weird champion. She's a bruiser with hyper mobility with like a Cho'Gath R on a five second cooldown. It's kind of nuts. She does need gold to succeed though. She plays really well with leads. So Aatrox two levels up on me. I need Camille to be over here. I can't really do anything without her. I can catch that wave though. That is something I can do. We got a red buff auto burn plus jungle item burn on both of these. Take them a little bit faster. Aatrox is missing at this point. Keep an eye on the minimap constantly as jungler. We see their bot lanes underneath turret. I believe they're full HP. Since my bot lane's full HP, the odds of them being low is not very high. Aatrox is roaming mid right now. I can't really stop that. I can loosely follow it since he has tier 1s. She has tier 1s. Looks like he landed his pole though. Got the Eve. I think I can actually still get away though. Just dash to that. Should be out of here. He might be taking my raptors right now. It is what it is. Can't really stop it. I could go lay this top side. It looks like Aatrox is going to cut me off. I want to get that first turret. They're not going to let us. We'll go for Gore Drinker. We'll pick up a control ward. And we'll go for golems or dragon. 
But if I was Evelyn right now, I'd probably go bot side. My bot's really shoved up. She could go for Camille, but she's super mobile. So most likely she's bot right now. I want to leave my Herald before the 14 minute mark anyways. I can't believe my W actually missed that. Ooh, Evelyn's over here. Got you, buddy. Got the extended dash range. Got her. Was willing to take a few turret shots to get the better angle for walking towards her. That way I could threaten my point and click E dash. Like I said against champions, if you have the choice, you want to knock them up before you use your W. Since we're maxing our W first anyways, it's our highest source of damage. Could take our Raptors here. I laid Harold a little bit on the early side. There we go. Can use our Gore Drinker on them as well. Gore Drinker is super low cooldown for us. Evelyn doesn't have R, so she can't threaten an all-in against me at the moment. I'll take her, take her Krugs. She's losing a lot of CS. We have actually very high CS for Xin Zhao. I need him to get a little bit closer. And I'm dead. Aatrox, holy crap. He did some big boy damage there. I wasn't expecting that. I even used my core drinker. That last Q chunked. I even checked his items. He's not full item yet. Super, 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 super high damage output. I guess his Conqueror was probably fully stacked. Against their team, it's a tough call. I don't think I want to go plated versus their team. I already have Tenacity. I think I could get away with Ionians and shove right into Sterix. We got first turret for our team. Stopping Aatrox from getting that bonus first turret gold. Whenever you get off a successful gank is when you generally look to take an objective if it's safe. Like right now, if we kill the Nivea, we could probably pressure Dragon. Force the enemies to react to that. This so Nivea's kind of big. As long as we get on her, we'll kill her though. And hold on to my W and walk into melee. Now I have to dash to get to her. She's knocked up, so I W. And she's dead. She's overextended. If you're that far overextended, all you gotta do is walk up to him. She even burned flash and died still. God, Aatrox is so annoying. Got the knock up on Nami, triple gore drinker into R. She lined herself up a little bit with these walls. With both those walls, it made it easier for me to land my W. That's that's honestly game right there. Before we just got these four kills, they were actually a kill up on our team. Now this this completely swung it. That's League of Legends for you though. All it takes is like ah, she stole that. All it takes is like one big fight, and you're back in the game. If they kill me and Vex and get the double shutdowns, they could possibly come back as well. That is possible, but unlikely. So I'm going to try to position, use red buffs up. Vex might inadvertently get me killed here if Anivia rotates. I'll wait for Eve. She's here. She just charmed it. I could hear it. In the fog of war, she's knocked up W. She's dead. I have full conk stacks up. I'm dead. If my E was up when I hit a Nivea with my W, I could have jumped to her and possibly gotten her. Just couldn't get away from the Aatrox and he's doing some gnarly damage to me. Keep building into our Sterix. That is how you get the juicy 67% win rate build. That's your two core items. After that, your third item situational. You can go GA, Death Stance, Thornmel, or Wit's End. Against their team, Aatrox is their most fed player. So... Going for Thornwell wouldn't be awful for the hill cut. Ooh, nice. Camille picked up a kill. Hopefully she can get away here. She's got a nice slow off. She's got a blast cone to jump to if she wants it. 
All right, cool. She got away. I didn't even get the uh, the red buff from Evelyn, unfortunately. Just got collapsed on too quick. Got to get a little bit closer. We'll take the wider angle and try to cut them all. Ah, that wasn't worth. We should get second Herald off this at least. Uh, so I guess that was his pink. He just relayed it. And I hit it with my W. Eve is mid. Oh, she's doomed. Syndra's actually a really annoying champion for Eve to play against. It's someone who plays a lot of Evelyn. Syndra John is super hard. Anything that can like hard CC you instantly, it's very challenging for her to deal with. And Syndra, she can Q stun, so even if you go Banshees, she can wipe it off instantly as her stun's going off. It's really challenging. We've gotten double heralds. That's how you try to end your games before the 30 minute mark so they don't drag on forever. And Zao does not permanently scale like a Vega or an Asus nor does he have very good range damage. So in team fights, especially if the enemy has a lot of AOE CC, like a Nivea Nami and Aatrox, you can find yourself struggling. That's why you want to get heralds whenever you get a kill, gank, or it's free. Already have my pink word laid. Waiting for a Nivea. Got the knock up in a W. Awesome. Bush camp in OP. This turret's really low. We already have cannon. I don't think I need to herald for this. I'll E for the attack speed bonus. Jump back to the backline minion. Or I should say to their frontline minion. Who's behind me? Oh, hey, Evelyn. Ooh, got it. Got the extended dash range and she's gone. This is a really hard matchup for Eve. Zin plays well against really any jungle champion. Hecarim, Evelyn, Lee Sin, Talon, Jarvan. Like, even the high tiers he goes even with. And since he's so easy to play, if they're not playing perfectly, they, they just lose to you by default. I'll grab this wave. We don't need to be here. If I lay Herald, we're not even going to get inhib. We'll just get a turret. And I still have the Herald for a few more minutes. Might as well hold on to it for a little bit. We can grab our Sterix. No, I, I'll get these. I want to be able to get some kind of heal cut, whether that's Executioners or Thornmel. doesn't matter to me. I just want something. You want to see something sad? The AD... Executioners, what it builds into gives 250 health. Thornmel gives 350. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. For a second there, I thought Kemp Punk was going to give more HP. In that case, I'd rather get Bramble. The reason I say that is there's a lot of Bruiser items that actually give more health than tank items. Like Randuin's only gives 250 health. Thornmel only gives 350 and whatnot. But obviously, Gorging gives 400. And then there's stuff like uh, Titanic or... I can't find them off the top of my head, but just, just look for it. You'll find most bruiser items give 350 to 500 health. The majority of tank items give 300 to 400 health. There's a few exceptions, of course. At this point in the game, since we have a lead, we can force team fights. And that's pretty much what's happening. It's our team's forcing it. Ooh, we got the E, nice. Gonna get Aatrox off me. Get the knock up in the W, red smite. I have full conk up and I also have a... Used my Gore Drinker. Every time your Gore Drinker's up in a team fight, you're gonna use it. It does give you a little bit more health the lower you are, but it's so spammable because the cooldown's super, super low. Go ahead and lay it, spam my oracles so we can get the double charge it glitches when you use herald it's been like that for over a year might as well abuse it oh 
awesome. We should be able to wrap this up. As long as you have over 50% KP as a jungler, you did your job. Just take the win. And that is it, guys, for this 67% win rate. Easy Zin Zhao jungle commentary guide. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Listen.